Hey y'all, happy Monday. I'm Asia Say What With Two T's here coming to you with just a little quick word that I feel like God put on my heart, but I'ma just be transparent with y'all. When the Lord first put it on my heart, like giving me a message to give to you guys a couple of weekends ago, I was like, God, have somebody else do it. Lord, why do I gotta be the one to say it? Not that it's a bad word or anything. I'm just like, Lord, why I gotta come? Like, I tell them in Bible study. He was like, no, I want you to tell those that aren't in Bible study too. Those who don't come to the girls' room. I'm just like... <sighs> All right, here it goes. So you guys, maybe like two years ago, I was at my family's house and we were playing the game for the culture. I'm pretty sure all of us know what that game is. It's the game that you hold on your forehead when it's your turn. And uh, if you get it right, you flip it up. Uh, if you get it wrong, you flip it down. I know everybody knows what game I'm talking about. Super, super popular. I don't know if people still playing it, but it's for the culture, a game for black folks. So. I'm at my family's house and it's my turn and uh, the people chose for me to do the religious category because they got that. I think they was trying to be funny, but I'm thinking to myself, that's cool, baby. I'm going to knock these out. You know, I'm going to show y'all that I went to Christian school for a little minute. Let, let me get to it. So we're doing the religious one and I'm, I'm winning. I'm knocking them up. I mean, knocking them off. I'm just, I'm handling it, y'all. So we get to one particular one and they was like, this is scripture that all black people know. And I'm thinking to myself, well, child, black folks got so many t uh, scriptures tatted on them. I don't know what this could possibly be. I'm like, the scripture that all oh, black people know. There's like everybody church used to say this scripture. And I'm just like, well, shoot, church say a lot of scriptures. He was like, for God so loved the world. I said, baby, he didn't get whirled out. I said, oh, John 3.16. And everyone knows John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Baby, that John 3, 16, that's the King James Version. That's how you know that we grew up hearing that. And so the Lord put on my heart, he was like, tell them that I'm coming. And I'm like, tell them that you coming. I'm like, Lord, tell, let somebody else tell uh them that you coming like I do enough like I'm gonna be honest I was just like I don't want to overdo it but God was just like no you better tell them that I'm coming so here I am with this word of John 3 16 because a lot of us know this scripture but do we know this scripture like you know it but do you know it know it like you say it out of your mouth but do you really believe it in your heart and I just feel like a lot of people are at breaking points in their life right now I feel like a lot of people have tried everything like you're trying to fill voids with everything but God and wondering why you're still empty you gonna smoke your hot you gonna smoke till you can't smoke no more you've tried everything to fill the voids everything that you're trying to replace God with still has you empty some people like you know what I smoke because I don't want to deal with my problems and I, I get that I'm not passing out no judgment however when that high come down that problem's still there you got some people that's like you know what I'm, I'm looking for a relationship I need somebody to complete me you looking for a man or a woman to come into your life to fill that void so you constantly giving yourself away to all of these different people and I'm not just talking about women because it seems like whenever we talk about sex it's always about women but men constantly giving yourself away to all of these different women trying to fill these voids you think it's a game but really you trying to fill a void in your heart and you don't know what it is and you think every time you have sex that that's gonna fix it but you still left empty once it's over you know it's people who can't stop watching pornography I get it I used to watch porn I mean you're searching for so many areas and so many things and wanting these voids to be filled you think it's money like man once I get a hundred thousand once I get a million I'm good so please believe that money ain't gonna fill that void because the void that you are trying to fill and the void that you are trying to to constantly water you're watering it with the wrong thing so you think it's watering it but you really poisoning it you feel what I'm saying like you really think you watering it you really think you you know you're you're growing in that area but you're you're trying to fill these voids with all of these unhealthy things and so God put on my heart to let you know that he's coming back but what does that mean what does this have to do with John 3 16 well for God so loved the world keyword he's so loved God loves you so much there's nobody that's going to click on this video there's nobody that's currently watching this video that God doesn't love God loves you so much that he sent his son Jesus for us like meaning that Jesus died on the cross to pay the price and the penalty for our sins those things that sometimes are sins the things that feel good but the things 
things that we really need God to deliver us from so we can live a more righteous life. Those things. So whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish. And I'm going to just be real blunt with y'all. Perish meaning die and go to hell. Period. You know, I, 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 re, I recorded this video before, but I'm re-recording it because I'm just like, you know what? I got to just be super more blunt with them. You feel me? Yes, this video made me uncomfortable to record, but I'm just like, you know what? I can get on here and talk about all type of stuff. I can get on here and talk about pop culture. I can get on here and talk about, you know, relationships. If you know me, Asia say, well, with two T's, I always got an opinion on something, but it boils down to this stuff right here. Like... I ain't leaving 2021 without giving y'all the opportunity to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I'm not leaving 2021 talking about everything but this. You feel me waiting on Wednesdays to talk about this? Like, no, we're going to talk about this right now. I just feel that it's somebody that has been searching. You've been searching your whole life. You've been searching and trying to fill these voids with everything but God. And you're feeling empty right now. And you want that everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's that life after this life. The life that we think is so important. The life that we put so much emphasis on. The life that we thing really matters it matters but it matters for what's next i feel like it's somebody that has just been waiting on something and you just don't know how you like where do i start like i can't i can't go to church because i'm still smoking i can't go to church because i'm still having sex i can't go to church because i gossip up baby let me tell you right now the church is not for the perfect you feel what i'm saying the church is for the sinners the church is for the folks that can't get it right but need some help i don't know where you may have heard that you gotta be right to go to god but you're really not supposed to be right and you go to god you feel what i'm saying it makes me think of the scripture in Mark, where Jesus uh, was getting ready to, to sit before, you know, the, the tax collectors and people were saying like, well, why are you finna eat with them? Why are you breaking bread with them? And the Lord is Jesus like, I came for the sick. You feel what I'm saying? I'm the sick. He came for me. So if you're ever wondering, like, I got to get it right before I get to God, God is like, no, you come to me and I get you right. You feel what I'm saying? You come to me with every problem. You come to me with every struggle. You come to me with it all. It's nothing too much for God. So if you're someone and you're just like, man, like, I want to be right because Jesus is coming back. People say all the time, like, oh, yeah, the world, we in our last days. We in our last days. The world is coming to an end. No, the world is coming to an end, you know, and we're not going to begin into the book of Revelations, okay? But, yes, the world is coming to an end, and Jesus wants relationship with you. He wants people to believe that he died on the cross to save us of our sins. Like, this is real deal. You feel what I'm saying? This ain't no joke. I guarantee you I wouldn't be recording a video just, just because the Lord put it on my heart and I had to be obedient. And some of us need to be obedient in this moment and just give it to God. You tired of fighting this battle. You tired of seeking everything and everyone. You tired of having sex with all these women like, yeah, it might feel good, but it have you feeling empty. You tired of giving all of these men your all to leave out with nothing. You coming out with less than what you went in it with. You feel what I'm saying? You tired of creating all of these plans for your life and they never go through because they was never God's plans for you. You tired of comparing yourself like you just tired and you ready for that everlasting life. I'm not saying things will be perfect, y'all. I still struggle. I need God's grace and mercy every day I wake up. I need it. I have to repent for my sins every day. Day. You feel what I'm saying? But what I wasn't going to have to repent for was being disobedient and not recording this video. Some things we can control and I can control this, okay? So I just want to know right now, because we're going to do it right now. I'm not finna be like DM me, which you can after this, but we finna pray right now. So just repeat after me for whoever just like, you know what? When this life passed away, if I was to close my eyes today, I want to spend it with the Lord. I want to be in a perfect place. Imagine paradise, that everlasting life. Put your best vacation. Put your best time with your family. Put all your best memories in one box and multiply it by a billion. But take away all the pain. Take away all the hurt. Take away all of that. That can't even, multiplying it by a billion can't even uh, describe everlasting life with God. It can't. I sometimes, it don't even make sense to me. I said, Lord, good thoughts all the time. Lord, no, nothing, no bad, all good. Give me that, sign me up. 
sign me up. And since I have made that declaration of faith and dedicated my life to God, it has been the best decision of my life, rededicating my life. Because some people have accepted Jesus, but you just kind of strayed away and you want to come back home. So I'm making this video for you. Like, come be a part of the body of Christ. Many parts, same goal. Many parts, same goal. So if that is you... Happy New Year and welcome. And I just want to, I want you to repeat after me. Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for blessing me to see another day. I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross and pay the price and penalty for my sin. Come into my heart, save me and make me whole. Holy Spirit, you are welcome into my life. Lord, I thank you for saving me and giving me a new life and making me a new creature. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Let's go. So, y'all, if you watch this to the end and you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I am so happy that you have decided to be a part of the body of Christ and experience that everlasting life that is discussed in scripture. Now, some people might be like, look, I don't know what to do at this point. Like, what do I do? I did this. Now what? If you are a young lady, send me an email, info at girlsroomministry.com. Send it to us. You can join the girls room, www.girlsroomministry.com. There are plenty of ministries, not even just girls room that I may know of in your city or state that I can connect you with. Tons of women ministries out there that you can plug into and get involved with that I definitely don't mind sharing. And fellas, I ain't forgot about y'all if y'all like man i need to be around some other men that's on this like i don't have a men's ministry but i can try my best to connect you with some people that's on the same type of time that you're on just send me an email at info at asia l and i'll try my best to get you plugged in if it's too many emails with men and women where y'all like look we need to come together baby i will start doing uh co-ed bible studies Period. Like, whatever it take. Whatever it take in 2021, I'm with it. So, I'm so excited to have dropped this video. I was obedient to God despite how I felt if I wanted to or if I didn't. I did it. And God is good. And I'm so grateful for that. So, you guys... Yeah, that's all I got. I'm going to keep it short. I tried to keep it short. This might be about 10 minutes or so. But, oh well. It's the best thing that I could have done today. So I love you guys. I pray that you have a blessed and prosperous week and that you're led by God and not your emotions. All right. See y'all. I'm Asia Say Well with two T's.